My name is Kai Elwoodu. Fiona Crane. Jack Chonchwing. Hasun Rosales. Ms. Lives Brilliant. Grayson Lattermill. Cameron Gallick. Benji Colosito. Maddie Abate. Deborah Mollitz. Matias Miranda Vira. Julia Sumla. John Narvice. Nila Solomon. Jonah. Gabriella Capisi. Anna O'Keefe. Kaylin Condon. I run track and cross country. Football. I also do track and field. Softball. Cross country and track. I field hockey. Volleyball. Soccer. Varsity baseball. Play basketball. Cheer. Soccer. And I've been diving for probably around six years. Four years. About ten years. Probably since I was five. Three years. Twelve or thirteen years. Ten years. For four years. Um. No. <laughs> um. Honestly, no. I don't think I have enough. Have gotten enough sleep. No. Definitely not. Um, uh, personally, I mean, I guess that's pretty relative, but I would say that, um, for the most part, no. 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 Not at all. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I could probably use more, but... <laughs> some nights, yes, some nights, no. Yeah, I would say I get a fair amount of sleep, so... Um, I make it a self-goal to finish all my work uh, before 10 so I can get to bed at 10.30 every night. A lot of Saturdays we've actually been having practices at about like 5.30 in the morning, uh, that early sometimes, and I know that, you know, we get Sundays off, but sometimes that's a little stressful on the body. My junior year was really hard because I had like just so many courses that were like important for my like school resume. I was starting to look at colleges more seriously, and so Academics was definitely my first priority. So Blair, we got home, I'd say around 11.30. Um, we were just stuck there in traffic. It was horrible. So many pe people came to watch the game. And um, I got home at 12 because my mom took so long to pick me up. And I had, I had an essay due. I had an essay due at like 11.59. The coach is really strict. Um, he'll say like, if you don't throw up or don't feel blood at the tips of your tongue, then you're not going hard enough. And like sometimes when somebody does throw up, he'll still get mad. And this week I had a basketball game on Tuesday and I had my oral commentary for IB English and a history test on Wednesday. This morning I actually had practice. It was at 4.45 a.m track meets are usually really late um, so I remember one time we were uh, coming back and there was a like a snowstorm and we were trapped out on um, the Beltway until like two o'clock in the morning when we went to the state championship and we had the semifinal they were at College Park and the semifinal game was I think on a Thursday night and the game didn't start till like <clears throat> nine and I don't think I got home till like midnight that night and I actually had a math test the next day. I would say that, I mean, that experience is something that, um, you know, is something that impacted the way that I had to, you know, schedule my day, I guess. I had to do this project um, for AP government, but I had a game and it lasted until nine. And by the time I got home, I was like working on it and I didn't finish until like two o'clock. I think you should know that we're students first and athletes second.